WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial Trade down 193, Nasdaq's up 119, S&P's off 35. Gold, gold contract up $17.50, trade at, at 19.85.80 an ounce. We have silver down five cents, twenty-three dollars four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, up a buck ninety, ninety dollars twenty-two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note, trading down fourteen ticks, one hundred five fourteen. The thirty-year for full point, plus thirteen ticks at one hundred seven twenty-eight. And that's some big numbers out here, folks, because we got the ten-year right now. It hit four point nine eight one, and we're at the high of the we're at the high period. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now down 321 ticks, trading 106, 244. The Euro is at 105. The Yen's trading at 149. The British Pound's at 121 to 1 US dollar. So we get over and take a look at this spy here. What you're doing, you're going into the October 6th, basically strength. You know, what you had out here yesterday, you came down with volume. You have an expansion of volume. We did 91 million, 93 million. You're going to do probably 100 today. Now, you go, you're coming into this 113 million. Now, the top of that range, however, though, is much higher, meaning that once you're into this bar so much, we're into the bar. i got to open that thing up more. The bottom line is that that, that bar is a long bar, and you're, out, you're about halfway down the bar. So that is saying that it can test the bottom of that bar. We've got to take a look at the... And 10 year. So the 10 year keeps breaking lows. You don't have any buyers in the 10 year right now. You know, bottom line is that you have 2 million, 2.09 million contracts. Let's see what we had out here yesterday. It's kind of the same as yesterday. And gold. So gold is on its own. You know, bottom line is that what's really intriguing about the gold market right now is that, you know, higher interest rates normally wax gold. And just the opposite's actually happened. You know, gold's taken out a swing point today. We're at 1896. This baby's on its way up to the 2038. You know, it's been strength after strength after strength. And then if we go to the dollar, the dollar, the dollar's done. So we'll see the correlation. You know, today you get the market down and the dollar's down, which is unusual. But the bottom line is that what the dollar had done is that it broke its channel line, got back above it for a day and then gave it up again. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.